The Science of Being Well by Wallace D. Wattle. Chapter 10 continued, Offer to crack him a few walnuts and give him a plate of lettuce, and you will be met with huge disdain. Those things are not natural foods for a working man, and if they are not natural foods for a working man, they are not for any other man. For work hunger is the only real hunger and requires the same materials to satisfy it, be in woodchopper or banker, in a man, woman, or child. It is a mistake to suppose that food must be selected with anxious care to fit the vocation of the person who eats. It is not true the woodchopper requires heavy or solid foods and the bookkeeper light foods. If you are a bookkeeper or other brain worker and do not eat until you have earned hunger, you will want exactly the same foods that the woodchopper wants. Your body is made of exactly the same elements as that of the woodchopper and requires the same materials for cell building. Why, then, feed him on ham and eggs and cornbread, and you on crackers and toast? True, most of his waste is muscle, while yours is a brain and nerve tissues. But it is also true that the woodchepper's diet contains all the requisites for brain and nerve building in far better proportions than are found in most light foods. The world's best brain work has been done on the fare of the working people. The world's greatest thinkers have invariably lived on the plain, solid foods common among the masses. Let the bookkeeper wait until he is in earned hunger before he eats, and then, if he wants ham, eggs, and cornbread, by all means let him eat them. But let him remember that he does not need one-twentieth of the amount necessary for the wood tripper. It is not eating hearty foods which gives the brain worker indigestion. It is eating as much as would be needed by a muscle worker. Indigestion is never caused by eating to satisfy hunger. It is also always caused by eating to gratify appetite. If you eat in the manner prescribed in the next chapter, your taste will soon become so natural that you will never want anything that you cannot eat with impunity, and you can drop the whole anxious question of what to eat from your mind forever and simply eat what you want. Indeed, that is the only way to do if you are to think no thoughts but those of health, for you cannot think health so long as you are in continual doubt and uncertainty as to whether you are getting the right bills of fare. Take no thought what ye shall eat, said Jesus, and he spoke wisely. The food found on the table of an ordinary middle-class, working-class family will nourish your body perfectly if you eat at the right times and in the right way. If you want meat, eat it. If you do not want it, do not eat it. And do not suppose that you must find some special substitute for it. You can live perfectly well on what is left on any table after the meat has been removed. Do you agree or disagree with the author? Have you enjoyed this video? Can you tell I'm reading it without my teeth then? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed it, your friends may enjoy it as well. Let them know about it by liking and sharing this video as it helps grow the family. And as always, to be sure you never miss one of these videos, please click the subscribe button. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Click the buttons.